students i hope you are doing great so in this video we are going to do work on oxford countdown book 5 third edition so now let's get started let me show you the page so the page that we are doing in this video is 10 the and the chapter is whole number and operations and the exercise is exercise 1b and the questions that we are doing are the Five and six. So now let's get started. Let me read the first question. Let me fold it. Okay. So the first question is write question number five. Write vertically and add. Just gotta add in it. So I will not do the all parts because I will just do A and B. Okay. So yes, I will just do A and B, and I will show you how to do them. Okay. So yes, first part is A. So now let's see it. Five, six, four, one, two, one, four, seven, three, five, six, five. We are just going to do it straight. Not need to you know get the middle number or that number, that number. Okay. Just do it. Is like so. Let me show you a part. So first we gotta write five. Remember the first number is big. You write it. If the first number was small, then I write four. Okay. So first you write five here like this. Five. Okay. Then you write six. Then you write four. Then you write one. Then you write two. Then you write again one. Okay. Then the next part. You write. First, we are not going to write in the same way. We are going to use it from the back way. That means you are going to write five six five. Okay, so yes, five here. Okay, and then six. Another five. Another five, and then we have three. Then we have seven. Then we have four. And now put this line here to make sure it's perfect. Then you add it, sign like this, and then you know you just find your answer. So now let's get started. So first, if I'm doing if the hard numbers like seven or eight, then I will put the lines and show you. But if the easy one like five and one, I will just you know talk and tell you. Okay, so five plus one. Or one plus five is six, okay? Because we're doing add, okay? So it's six, and six plus two is eight. If there were hard numbers like nine or you know seven or eight, then I will put these like line, okay? But since right now there is no hard number, so yep, I'm just doing it easily, okay? So again, one added by five is six. Four added by three is seven, and now there is a harder one that I cannot, you know, tell you in the language. I gotta understand you in the lines. So now let me show you. So now first we gotta write what we gotta write seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we gotta write six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now let's start counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have thirteen. Okay. So three here, and one is a carry on five and four. So I'm thinking that I will show you five and four in also lines. So yes, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, then you write four, one, two, three, four. Then you write one. How many you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we are going to write here ten. So this is the first part. How you do it? It's part A. Let me just write it up here so you know the well. So you subtract it. I mean add it. You not subtract it. Okay, you add it. I'm sorry, I said subtract. So when you add it, you get this. Okay. 
Now let's do the B part. I will be do the all parts in the coming up videos. For now, I will just do two two parts. Okay. So now let's go to B part, which is this. Let me read the B part is six five five one three two two nine eight four and three four one zero three. I hope you can see it. I'm just here. Okay. So we are just going to do it straight because it's six, then two, and then three. Okay. So first six, then four. I mean five. Sorry, there is no four. There is five here. Okay. And then another five, and then one, and then three, and then two. Okay. And then you write next one, but just like I tell you, start from the end. So. Four and four, then eight, then nine, then two. Okay, then you write this one, the last one again. The this area. So there is three, zero, one, four, and three. Okay. Now you know what to do. You do it. Add again. Okay. Like this. So yes, you do add it. Now let's add it. This is one or three, so I will just show you in lines. So two, four, three. So first we gotta write two, one, two, then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have nine. Then we have eight and three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three. Okay, one, two, three. Always you do the big number first. Like eight was big, so we write it first and then three. Okay, so these are three. Now let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven. So one. We'll go also here and it's i will do it in numbers because my now i will do this one in talking just like i did these one and these ones and these ones you know what is it so in nine when you add one how many get 10 in 10 when you add one you get 11 in 11 when you add one you get 12 so we are writing 12 here not 12 only two okay this one is again a little different, so we are going to do it in lines. So first is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, then you write 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you write 2, 1, 2, and then you write 1, okay? Count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, again 12, so we are writing 2 here and one here so in three i think i will also do it this one in a line because there's no number so you know do like one should be here or something like that no you just leave it like this okay so first is five one two three four and five and then you in it you add three one two three and then one so one here how many you have one two three four five six seven eight nine so you write nine here if there was you know ten or eleven or twelve then there was a carry here then it will be seven but there is not so we are just going to write plain six okay so this is how we do question number five so now let's go to question number six and in six i will also do two parts a and b okay for that i gotta go to the next page so yes now let's go to the question number six write the number which is what so we have part a and part b let me show you so more than that means you got to do first this one, then this one, okay? Because this number is bigger than this one. Even though it is 5 here, but you still write 2 because it's 6 digits here. And how many digits are there? 1, 1, 2, 4 digits here and 6 digits here, okay? That's why. So, now let's do question number 6. 
I already tell you the question is write the number which is what so yep so right first you write 2 okay then you write 4 okay then 5 then 6 then 2 then 4 okay and now you add it and remember more than means add not and in less than means less than means subtract more than means add okay now you add it from 0 0 0 5 so i'm sorry zero how many zeros you gotta write three so yes like this three zeros and five here i think this one will be so easy let's see if it is or i'm wrong or am i right so there's zero down you not take any carry you just you know add you only add in it that's why just write four here okay wait a minute i forgot to put this line these lines i think are also important so please write these lines too okay then there's no number down here so just two then six. Oh yeah and i think and i'm not thinking i know the answer five five is ten okay so you write zero here and one there so in four when you add one how many have five okay so right here like this and then there's no number here so you just write plain simple two okay now let's go to part b okay so now let's do part b is 800 more than three nine i mean i mean six nine five three two eight okay so again we are writing this number because there's eight in the front but these number have three these are i mean these are six these are three that's why okay so first you write six then you write nine then you write five then you write three then you write eight then you write two okay and then you write zero zero eight so one zero two zero and a eight here okay so yes and then you add it again you add it okay i'm not doing the uh, all questions i'm just doing one so there's zero again just like there you just write two here eight there and in three when you i mean in since eight is bigger than three you are counting in eight so in eight when you add three you get what you get 11 okay because after 8 there is 9 10 11 okay so 11 here yes in 5 when you add 1 there is 6 okay and now there is no number not even 0 not 8 nothing you just write them straight down here okay like this okay so yes this is how you do question number five and six i will do d c d e f g h and on the question number six c d e f in the coming up videos because they are also easy for the bigger than the first one so yes this is for today and i hope you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel okay bye see you in the coming up videos